the Proline Twin I-Beam 2-Wheel Drive Conversion for your older SCX 10 2s. I did it in my way. And it's not what you think. Let's get to the table. So this is it. I'm not exactly sure what body I'm going to end up with, but I had to use a base camp body for now. Not sure if these wheels and tires are going to stay on it, but they're on for now. Now let's get that body open because this is not what you're expecting. Okay, the obvious is the motor. No transmission or any of that. I mean, I built this and I did not have a 10 to to start with. So I kind of had to just make something work here, right? So here is your twin I-beam suspension. There we go. All that, right? So when I put these shocks and all together, I had a 35 weight shock oil that I had left over. And that was so stiff, the front end wouldn't move. So what I put in was 100 CST shock oil, like what you get for the Raminator. So it's like WD-40 in here. So, but it allows everything to move. The springs on the Proline shocks are a little bit soft, to be honest with you. Could be a little bit stiffer, but we'll just have to run it and see how it goes. Now the carbon chassis is four millimeters thick. So I did have to make some adjustments here to allow for the difference on the width because it is a little bit different. So uh, let me see, what else did I do? Um, body mounts, just axial kit body mounts. You can see right here. Now, oh yeah, a whole lot going on back here. Rift rear lower links. These right here are just some metal uh, shock towers I got off of Amazon. I forget the whatever name it was. And the reason I put the rift links on it was because it was too short in my opinion. So I had to extend it out a little bit. So that got the job done. I got some, I think, yellow uh, stiffness axial springs. I made them work on here. They don't really fit like they're supposed to, but they're here. So now we have some travel. Now I can adjust this all the way up to here to get a little bit more. What I think I'm going to end up doing, though, on the back back here, kind of like what I did with uh, Race Camp come up with something a little bit different as far as like a shock tower per se so i can use a longer shock that way i can get a lot more travel back here so now you're probably seeing this right here too what is that well that is the trx four rear axle i needed the gear reduction i got to put a nut on that too but i needed the gear reduction because i was doing direct drive right to it so i needed the gear reduction of seven something to one I forget the exact term on it, but this right here, I believe I got this from uh, Jenny's RC, I believe it was off of eBay. This right here, obviously, is a differential, which is going to help, I, I do believe. And the selectable locker here, you can lock this thing up, and now it's a spool. So that was one of the big things for going for this axle is the selectable locker option in which I'll get the uh, little printed deal and put a little micro servo on this so I can adjust this with the radio. But regardless, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, a carbon chassis. I got to put a little brace back here. You know, just a little chassis bar just to tie that in to make it nicer. And finding the right body. So I'm not sure if Proline has something, but what I'm thinking for on bodies is a monster truck body. And I'm talking like a scale monster truck body because it's a little bit skinny. And typically speaking, they're built with a longer wheelbase on them. So if we get the longer wheelbase body, all that, I think it'll work out well because we're looking at 14 inches on the wheelbase here. So look at that. See that? So yeah, that is the twin I-beam suspension. So watch the tires. Let me see if I can get this in the camera here. If you look at the tires, right? See all that camber change? So you gotta be moving to how, allow this to work. If your toe is out while you're driving, it's gonna, it's gonna do that. It's gonna just pull everything right out. It's gonna look weird and all that. If your toe is in, it's gonna have a tendency to do that. So alignment is pretty critical. Do I have this aligned correctly? I honestly have no idea, but I'm pretty sure I'm close. But um, regardless, I think we're pretty much all set to take this thing for a drive. Um, now, the 10 weight oil, well, let me go into a little bit more here. The 10 weight oil on the back, not much dampening. But the 
thing is, it's got to be able to move. And I've got a large 2S battery back here. So from what I can tell, 2S is about where it needs to be. The Monster X ESC by Castle is good to 6S. The motor can do 6S. 2100 kV Holmes motor. 1.8 scale, 2100 kV motor. The motor mount is actually a Bauhaus RC design. And I got it in there, did a little shimming right underneath there to kind of tilt it, but better drive shaft angle. Obviously, you had the other X Max stuff hanging up at here. I cut that loose just because uh, it wasn't neat. It was just hanging out in there. It had absolutely no use at all. Now, I had a metal drive shaft on here. And it was actually a Vitavon drive shaft, but I had a lot of vibration in it. Real heavy drive shaft. So I'm hoping the uh, this drive shaft right here will hold up. I'm hoping. I mean, the vehicle itself isn't very heavy. It's just two-wheel drive. Um, you can see the bottom of the ESC hanging out there. I probably need to make a new plate to come all the way down. It's glued in place. Hopefully, it'll stay. But, I mean, I had to order all, all kinds of crazy things because I didn't have an actual truck to build off of. So, like this piece right here. I'm, I'm talking way too long here, but... Anyway, this piece right here came from Amazon, the mount, and it was too narrow, so I had to add some spacers on that. That could be why I had to extend that out a little bit because everything is just offset in there wrong. So speaking of wrong versus right, is this built right or wrong? I honestly don't know. I mean, I think it's as right as it can be considering I did everything wrong on it. You guys tell me. But as far as wheels and tires go, I'll probably try to go with more of a uh, scale appropriate tire. Honestly, the tires off the uh, CJ7, the new Axial CJ7, are about perfect. At least for the scale aspect of this and for what it's supposed to be for. Um, and also, I think I'm going to go with plastic wheels, not the metals. These are, these are really nice trail wheels, by the way. But I don't think I want these on here because I want to have low mass. I don't want a lot of weight down here. Because um, you, you, when you get a lot of weight, a lot of that just transfers up. I want this to be as light as I can get it to where it operates, it operates fine and quick. You'll notice on all your race trucks, your high-performance race trucks, they're almost never a solid axle. Because if you have a lot of unsprung mass, like say one of these right here in the back, as far as the <clears throat> talking unsprung mass the more mass you down hit <clears throat> talking unsprung mass if you notice all your race vehicles okay they don't have solid axles because when you hit a bump and you have all this axle coming up it bottoms out and transfers into the chassis so most of your vehicles are independent suspension because less unsprung mass allows for a faster reacting suspension. So the front of this is going to be a lot better when I take the weight of these wheels and tires off. It just will be as far as like um, if you had the stock 10-2 rear axle, straight axle, it's going to be a lot lighter than what this is. So the back of this is probably twice as heavy as what it should be. But... Like I said, I really needed the gear reduction with a direct motor. So other than all of that, I think it's uh, pretty much ready to go for a drive. We're going to try both locked and unlocked, of course, for the drive. Hopefully I can get down low and actually get some nice slow-mo of the suspension working. I'm hoping. That was a whole lot more mouth jibber-jabber than what I had anticipated. But you know what? I, hopefully I explained everything, especially like the mass, tires, all that stuff, because I really want to keep the wheel and tire package as light as possible to take as much unsprung weight off as possible. But these are what I had, and that's what I went with. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned because the running video is coming up soon because I'm about to set up for that video and take it outside and see what it's got on 2S. Guys, thank you all for watching. There are links in the description. Um, a main eBay, Amazon, Horizon, Tower, their affiliate links. It really helps out the channel. So I want you guys to have an absolutely great day. And it's Christmas. It's okay to have a few extra sweets. But if you're sensitive on that, you know there are ways around it, right?
Have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.